on sight when I seen ya. I never seen a body look at me in the end of What's up, you guys? This is your boy, Raldo Austin, and you guys are watching Music Exclusives TV. And right now, I have the pleasure of sitting down with the newest cast member of Love & Hip Hop New York, Mr. Trent Cruz. What's up? Hey, what's going on? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for joining us, joining us on this Sunday Thank you afternoon. for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I have to look at you for a second Honored now. to be here. Why? Because I need to see, like, are you are you crazy or what's going on? Because <laughs> you know you, you're over here. You're about to join Love & Hip Hop New York. Yeah. I so know, your, all your business is about to be out there on the streets. All my business <laughs> for the first time. Are actually. you prepared for that? Um, I have been preparing myself the, the last couple of months to uh, be open and honest and expose my true self, my sexuality, my music, my ins and outs, my, my downfalls. Uh, everything's on TV. Everything's to, for, to, to show. Right. Um, Was so, it hard for you to adjust to the whole, with the cameras following you around and everything? Because this is like new to you. Um, no, actually, it's, I think that was the easiest part. I think it's very easy to be open and honest and naked, uh, as they say, in front of the camera. Um, yeah. I think the hardest thing is when you're off camera and you have to face people with the reality of what you said and what you've done. Right, right. And no, you, you're, like you said, you're an artist, so it's easy to be vulnerable in front of everybody. Yeah. Now, you mentioned that you recently came out in January. What made you want to come out, like, in January? Um, to be honest with you, um, I had a big meeting at Atlantic Records, like, maybe September, October of 2016. Mm -hmm. And um, that was my third label meeting that year. Sony, ATV, Atlantic, and Interscope. And so I had all these meetings with this A&R and that A&R and right. this person, that person. And every label I went to, they were like, well, we can't do anything with you because you're gay. Mm. Or they would say it in a certain way where they're like, well, how are we supposed to sell you to a female audience when you look gay or you sound gay or whatever that means. I don't right. even know what that even means. Mm. Um, and so I was really frustrated and I was like, I'm, I've spent so many years, especially right. as an artist, trying to hide my sexuality. Right. And now, um, I just don't really care anymore. Right. I think I came to a place where like, if every label is gonna turn me down for being right. who I am, right. um, then I might as well be who I am and do it myself and take control. So it's easier to come out because I'm like, I've spent so many, the last 10 years of my career, um, especially nine of those years right. in New York City, right. um, trying, to, trying to play the straight guy, trying to sing all the love songs to the girls, right. trying to um, look a certain way, carry myself a certain way, uh, to be straight, whatever that means. Right. Um, and I kept getting turned down for not being straight enough, not right. being black enough, not sounding urban enough. And all these things that who I am were never good enough to get signed. I mean, as far as joining Love & Hip Hop, do you think it's going to play a positive role as far as your uh, music career? Because I don't always feel good and don't always have fun. So I think yeah. if I can try, try to give that to someone else, um, I think that's what separates my music from a lot of people. Right. Um, on the cast and in general. Right. You said, you mentioned earlier that, you know, you go through so much trials and everything, you know, coming up as an artist. What are some of the trials and tribulations that you went through thus far in your career? Um, wow, there's so many. Uh, you don't even have enough camera time. <laughs> <laughs> you just, just put a couple, a couple out there for us. <laughs> um, being homeless, mm. uh, eating out of a trash can, uh, being robbed, being held at gunpoint, mm. losing full albums, um, producers not uh, taking you serious, mixes being done. I mean, just I can go on and on and on and on. It's a constant struggle to be taken serious in anything you do. Mm -hmm. um, whether you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, a uh, model, a singer, uh, an author, whatever you want to do in life, it's hard for people to take you serious until they take you serious. And you constantly got to prove yourself. Constantly to prove yourself. And so I think, um, I think the hardest thing for me in New York City um, is that uh, it's a game, mm -hmm. um, and just trying to learn yourself, especially me coming from Ohio, um, not really knowing how to finagle the city right. and how to play the game. Um, you know, it's a lot of tears, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, a lot of going hungry, 
um, and a lot of sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, no parties, no clubs, no no relationships, no you friends. You lose friends, yeah. You lose family. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a lot. I mean, again, I could be here all day, uh, but it's just a lot of sacrifice, right. and um, you just have to learn to not give up on yourself. Right. So as far as new music, what are you working on? Um, so uh, the lead single for my new album is Bad Reputation. What's that about? Um, I actually wrote this single about the show um, because the show has such a bad re re reputation and I'm going to get a bad reputation. I was when about to say, because they're going to, Mona Scott going to be like, uh, Trent, I need to talk to you. <laughs> um, people are going to see me and think, wow, like Trent really has exposed himself. And, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. I'm so about... I've, in my life now, I've been so much about transparency and honesty. Right. And so I wrote Bad Reputation because people have so many bad things to say about me. Mm -hmm. And people have so many bad things to say about you of course. and this person and that person. Yep, and so everybody. the song is about we all have a bad rep. Mm -hmm. The show, you, me, this one, that one, we're, we're all a mess. And that's, and that's what the song says. The song says, I have a bad reputation, and you're either going to love me or hate me. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm focusing on just new music and getting the, getting the album done. And uh, Bad Reputation debut in maybe episode two or three. I don't know. I don't, we, we, we have no idea when everything airs. But um, I'm super honored that they allowed me to sing on the show and perform the single. Uh, yeah, so Bad Reputation is next. And we'll see you after that, how people will gravitate. Awesome. Well, you're going to stick around with us. Oh, we have more to come. That was end of part one. Again, you guys are watching Music Exclusive TV. This is your boy, Rado Hero. My guy, Trent Cruz.